Imagine being at an airport and watching your little boy get on an airplane for the very first time. Well, it's so hard to let go. You watch them fly off into the blue and you say to yourself, are they going to get there safely? How can they go anywhere without me? Being a parent is such an intense relationship. When they're teenagers, sometimes they surprise you and you watch them do things and they say things that are so mature and so kind and you wonder, where did that come from? How did they grow up so fast? And later on, when they learn about all the facts of life and you know they're ready to leave the nest, and then they go and you start to wonder, did I do all the right things? Was I a really good parent? Did they learn enough from me? Are they ready to go out there on their own? Well. You miss them, but you know that no matter how far away from you they go, they're always going to be your children. You're always going to care. Nothing's going to change that. You're a family. Another one. It's too loud. Amazing, isn't it, how something so big can fly so high? And just think, Michael, you're gonna be on one of those in less than an hour. Michael? Did you manage to talk to someone? I spoke to one of the attendants on your flight and explained you're feeling a little nervous. I'm not feeling a little nervous. I'm feeling a lot nervous. She says that's natural. Everyone's nervous on their first flight alone. I'm not nervous. You're not flying all by yourself to Vancouver, Lizard Breath. It's not fair. When can I go visit Grandma and Grandpa alone? This is it, son. Have a good trip. Okay, Dad. Do I get a hug? Mom, jeez. Bye, Mom. Have a nice flight, Michael. Is it breath? I don't want to go. I can't go alone. Please don't make me go. Hi, Michael. My name is Sarah. I'll be your flight attendant today, and we are going to have a lot of fun. Shall we go in? We had a few open seats in first class. The captain said it would be fine with him if you took one of them. You make yourself comfortable. I have to go help some other passengers now, but I'll sit with you during takeoff. Okay? Okay! Good. Meantime, you better do up your seatbelt, and I'll see you soon. Ah. There he goes. Do you really think he'll be okay? He'll be fine. Wave bye-bye, Lizzie. There goes your big brother. Lizzie? Ah. Oh, did you feel that? We're in the air now. Go on. Look out the window. <gasps> Lizzie! No hiding now. Lizzie? Lizzie, are you here? Excuse me. We need some help. Would Elizabeth Patterson please contact an airport security guard? Mommy? Do you like roller coasters, Michael? Good. Then let's pretend we're on one. Woo! Yahoo! We have all our available staff on the lookout for her. She should turn up soon.
You know, if it's all the same to you, I think we'd like to go back out and look for her. Go ahead, but listen to the announcements. If we find her, we'll broadcast it right away. Aw, is it over? Not to worry. The movie's about to start. You enjoy it. I've got to do my rounds again. There she is! Lizzie! 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 No, you don't understand. That's my daughter in there. Mommy! Oh, Lizzie! What a scare you gave us. You think that's scary? She was about to board a flight for Nairobi. Um, honey, I spent all my cash at the restaurant. Um, do you have any money? Man, this is more lights than a Christmas tree. Over 360 lights, gauges, and switches. And, uh, yes, <laughs> I know what each one of them does. I could never remember all that. Sure you could, Michael. It just takes time and hard work to become a pilot. And the payoff is you get to ride up here every time you fly. Oh, man, look at that! Does it look like it's moving up there? The only place it's moving is on the other side of that accident. I don't know what else could go wrong. I have to go to the bathroom! I just want to say goodbye, Michael. It was a real pleasure flying with you. Thank you, Sarah. You're really great. Hello? It was awesome. But boy, long trips sure do make you tired. Funny, I was just thinking the same thing about short ones. Amy, the girl I was telling you about, she can do a triple. Maybe she practices more. She practices every single day almost. Well, honey, so what if she's better? It's not a competition. Duh, Mom. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, right. Watch your double, Elizabeth. You're still coming out of it too soon. Okay, Miss Leslie. Don't you think I should try a triple? Not till you're ready. Don't worry. You'll do very well next weekend. Oh. How was practice, Liz? Fine. Did you do a sow cow? Like to see you do it. Hey, we do real skating. <laughs> see you at home, stranger. All right, you weenies. We have a big tournament next weekend, so... I've asked someone to come in and teach you some proper skating skills. Hi, guys. I'm Miss Leslie. Start on your right foot, turn, and land on your left. That's it. Light as a feather. I don't see how this helps. <gasps> on the other hand, it can't hurt. So I got practice every morning until the competition next weekend. Great. We could only get the 6 a.m. ice time. Great. 
And we have to leave a little early to pick up a couple of other girls. Great. Hey, Mom! Watch this! That's great, Liz. Liz, are you all right? Oh, uh, my arm. Don't move. I'll call an ambulance. How are you feeling? Okay, I guess. They want to keep you in overnight because of that bump on your head. Yeah, they told me. I'm not going to be able to skate in the competition, am I? Not this time, honey. It's my own fault. If I hadn't tried that triple... Elizabeth, it was an accident. It's no one's fault, okay? Okay. Now, I'm gonna go home and get your nighty and toothbrush. You get some rest. Mom? Can you bring me my bunny? Um, hi, Elizabeth. Hi. These are for you. My mom bought them, but I picked them out. They're pretty. Thanks. Does your arm hurt? A little. I guess you won't be able to skate by Saturday. No, but you're going to win anyway. Yeah, I have to. I wanted to skate in the Olympics ever since I can remember. Cool. I bet you can. You're really good. Yeah, but I'll never skate like you. Amy, you're way better than me. I'm a better jumper, but you make it look so easy. You have a flowiness. I do? Yeah. I wish I knew how you do it. <laughs> I don't know. I just skate because I like it. It's fun. I don't worry about winning. You don't? Not until now. And look what happened. Uh, hey, Mike. Uh-huh? Watch yourself out there, okay? Dad, it's only a hockey game. What could happen? Next one up is Amy! Go, Amy, go! Yo! Yo! Light as a feather, light as a feather, light as a feather, light as a... The gold medal for Novice Girls Freestyle goes to yes. Amy Fogarty. Yes! I knew you could do it. Not without you. I thought she was your arch rival. Who, oh, Mom? You heard so last week. She was so worried about losing that she forgot it was supposed to be fun. So she had fun and won. Yeah. I hope she gets to the Olympics. Michael, what happened? He scored, that's what. With your face? Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Cool shiner, eh? Bah. Didn't even need stitches. You want stitches? I'll give you stitches. Hey, watch my arm. Watch my eye! <laughs> Just tell me we're good parents. We're good parents. We're good parents. We're good parents. Elizabeth, that's going to be your baby for the weekend. Where you go, it goes. I'm going to call him Enrique. Um, some of us didn't get eggs. 
Oh, I've got something special for you fellas. Congratulations, you're pregnant. Aren't you taking him home? He'd cramp my style. Pretty cool assignment, eh? Hey, Lizzie. Hey, ladies. <laughs> it's gonna be a long weekend. Hi, Mom. How was school? I got a baby. That's inter- It's a project for health class. Well, I hope they taught you CPR, too, because you almost gave me a heart attack. Like to meet your grandchild? <laughs> Edgar, behave yourself. Good catch, Mom. I've had lots of practice with bouncing babies. That's so we can't cheat and bring in another egg. What's its name? It's an egg, Mom. It doesn't need a name. Lizzie, I'm not babysitting till after it's hatched. Wallace? Corey? Egbert? Oh, hi, Anthony. Hi, Mrs. Patterson. Is uh, Lizzie in? She went out with Shauna Marie. Aren't you a bit overdressed? Mrs. Patterson... I'm pregnant. I think Egbert's a cute name. Yeah, I kind of like it. Hey, maybe he and Enrique will become best friends. They could play soccer, go camping, Maybe go to college together. Or end up in an omelet. Don't be gruesome. <laughs> <laughs> How's the expectant mother? Lousy. My back is killing me, I'm sweating like a pig, and I look like a whale. I can relate. How are your kids doing? Enrique and Egbert are gonna go to college together. We're going to the park. Wanna come? Uh, I'm gonna help your mom with the groceries. That's okay, Anthony, if you... No, no, Mrs. Patterson. I'd rather stick with you. I don't feel like such a goof when you're around. I'll assume that's a compliment. I wonder if I'll be a good parent. Sure you will, Lizzie. You're a good person. So why not a good parent? Thanks, Shauna Marie. <laughs> I've only had this for 24 hours and I'm a wreck. How do women do it, Mrs. Patterson? It's something that, well, when you commit to it, you just do it. Would you like a cola? No thanks, not good for the baby. You sure are taking this project seriously. I'd like to have a kid someday, but it's kind of scary. Yeah, it is. Having children changes your life, but when the time is right, the rewards are immense. You get to see the world all over again with fresh eyes. You, um, Edgar did it. I know it was only an egg, but when it was broken, well, my heart broke a little too. I can understand that. I've grown pretty fond of Enrique. Cute little guy. Say, I have my dancing lesson tonight. Would you look after Enrique for me? Really? Keep him overnight, I'll come by in the morning, and we can bring him to school together. Bueno Sarah, Enrique. Morning, Daddy. Morning, April. Are you making breakfast? Yeah. Is Mummy sick? I think I'd never made breakfast before. It 
it was weird. For the first time, I, um, thought about having a kid. Me too. It was uncomfortable, my back hurt, my feet hurt, I felt conspicuous, but it was kind of cool. The real thing must be... awesome. It's so different looking after something apart from yourself. Even though some people might think it's only an egg, I felt totally responsible for it, and when it... died, I felt the loss. Like, I had failed. But I trusted Lizzie to look after Enrique. And well, here he is, intact. Lizzie, she'll be a great mother. Maybe. Someday.